My name is Nigel Brunskill. I'm Professor of Renal Medicine at the University of Leicester. I'm a clinical academic and I look after patients with kidney disease. Well, C-peptide is a partner to insulin that's released from the pancreas at the same time as insulin. So the pancreas makes insulin as a larger molecule called proinsulin. And before it can be released into the bloodstream, it has to be broken down. And when proinsulin is broken down, it releases insulin and C-peptide. Now, it's always been believed that insulin is the important molecule and C-peptide is useless and inert with no function. But in fact, it's become clear over the last few years that C-peptide has very important biological functions in the body and seems to affect cells and tissues in a way that would be beneficial in someone who has diabetes. If we look at the example of the treatment of, of eye disease and diabetes, many patients who have diabetic retinopathy are treated with laser therapy. Um, now the laser doesn't treat the cause of the condition, it treats the consequence of the condition. C-peptide might potentially go right to the cause of the condition and prevent it. Well, to unlock the promise of C-peptide, we need to understand much more about how it works in the body. So insulin, for example, binds to cells and through a receptor and alters the way cells function. We believe that C-peptide functions in a similar way. So to unlock its promise, we need to understand much more about how C-peptide interacts with cells and changes their function.